How can urine metabolites from the tryptophan pathway give you insights to your patient's mental health? I'm Dr. Natalie Greenwood, naturopathic physician and med ed consultant here at Diagnostic Solutions Laboratory. So tryptophan can be metabolized along three main pathways. The first pathway is a serotonin pathway, producing 5-HTP and serotonin. As we all know, this is so important for supporting our patient's mood, sleep, and even gut motility. The second pathway is the indole pathway, where gut microbes like Clostridia, E. coli, and Proteus ferment tryptophan and actually produce indole acetic acid. When this is high, it is going to suggest that there is a level of gut dysbiosis and even a potential diversion of tryptophan away from serotonin production. And lastly is the kynurenin pathway. This is the dominant route using up to 95% of our dietary tryptophan under normal physiological conditions to synthesize NAD, which is a coenzyme critical for our energy production. So here is where things can start to go wrong. When the immune system is activated, whether from chronic inflammation, chronic infections, or chronic stress, this IDO enzyme expression will start to increase, and this is gonna shift tryptophan metabolism deeper into that kynurenin pathway and trigger stalled or stuck intermediate metabolites, such as quinolinic acid, which is neurotoxic and pro-inflammatory. When you see this elevated, your patient may be experiencing depression, anxiety, brain fog, fatigue, and even cognitive decline. Then we have kynurenic acid, which is neuroprotective. It's really trying to buffer that glutamate and inflammation, but if it also goes too high, we can start to see a suppression of neurotransmission, and this can show up with symptoms like brain fog or low motivation and slow cognition. And then lastly is picolinic acid. And this is actually a protective immune response to inflammation and NAD disruption. However, when it's high, we can also see anxiety, mood swings, poor stress tolerance, brain fog, and fatigue. So in summary, this one amino acid tryptophan and its metabolites found in urine can be a big part of mapping out our patient's mental health. We get to see real insights into the neuroimmune burden behind our patient's symptoms. So remember to think about running this organic acid profile on any of your patients that are experiencing any mental health concerns.